What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the locks of the day from locksdfs.com. I'm Christian Hardy. I'm going to go through my favorite plays of the day. Real quick, I'm just going to go over to our website here. Um, this is where you can get lineups and cheat sheets. Um, you just got to log in, register, um, go to the shop here for free season passes. And uh, with the MLB season pass right now, you also get NHL and NBA for free. And those lineups will be posted before the lock every single day. So keep that in mind. Uh, last night was a great opening day, so uh, hope, hopefully we can keep this going today. Uh, so let's start on FanDuel. FanDuel, um, really love this Cubs team today, and really, really cheap player on that Cubs team, and this what I'm always looking for is Al- uh, Albert Amora. Um, again, one of the higher team totals. Uh, if you get, can't get to Chris, someone like Chris Bryant, um, he's going to provide a pretty nice Woba against lefties, 395, and uh, should be batting in the middle of this Cubs lineup, either that 5 or 6 spot. Um, and really, really great value for that. And, uh, you know, he's also facing this, this, uh, Caleb Smith, who, who, who's going to, who's going to get hit around quite a bit in this game. Um, but not only that, he's also really, really struggled against, uh, right-handed batting, giving up a 539 XFIP and 34% hard hit. So a more makes a lot of sense in this spot. And, uh, for 2k, really hard to pass up. Um, I, I thought that I was going to be providing another outfielder on draft or on FanDuel, but I'm not because Ryan Braun is now at first base over here. Um, really like Ryan Braun today. I liked him yesterday too, and he didn't come through, but um, didn't provide him as a lock. But today I think he does. Uh, we know he had a strong split against lefties, obviously. Um, he's going against Lou, Lou, Joey Lucchesi in his first career start. We don't know a whole lot about him, um, but we do know that Braun's bat is good against those lefties. Um, Again, this price tag is pretty nice for what we're getting. Um, and, yeah, he, he should be in for this He should be in for this entire game. Don't expect it to be a platoon or anything like that, although um, he should share time with at first with Eric Thames. Um, yeah, it, also worth mentioning that Braun was very, very good in spring. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he, 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 even though he, he struggled in that first game against that lefty, he should, be, should bounce right back in this game. Lastly, guy, like I, I'm usually going to provide, I think, doing this video, two guy, two decent values and one stud. And the stud today on this site is going to be Aaron Judge. Um, pitching options on this slate are going to really lend itself to getting some some guys that you like in your lineup. I think you'll have the price. I think you'll have the money left on both sites. Um, there's really, if you look at this pitching slate, there's no one way up there that's really going to kill your bankroll. Um, so even if you're going with the chalk, um, a guy like Dallas Keuchel or Kyle Hendricks, you're going to be fine. Um, but back to Aaron Judge, I mean, ridiculous splits against right-handed pitchers, four, 446 Wobin, 360 ISO. Um, you know, Aaron Sanchez in a pitch month last year, but he struggled in the time that he did against righties. Um, and who knows if that will continue this year, but regardless, um, Judge is going to be someone to look at in this, uh, in this spot here, and uh, yeah, I will go through pitcher on this site. I mean, Hendricks is probably the guy I'm going to go with on 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 this one pitcher site. Um, I just think that he's the safest. Again, I really like this Cubs team. I think they're the, they're they're one, they're if they're not the favorite, the best, the highest favorite on the slate. They're definitely close. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely someone that that I'd go with. But I also think uh, you can look if you're going to look down. I do like uh, Julius Chasen. Uh, Julie's Chessine here. Um, there's a few other guys. Uh, I think I, I honestly I did I did recommend Braun, but if you're not gonna play Braun, I'm kind of down to to look at Joey Lucchesi. Um, but again, I I'd rather pay up for Chessine and um, just that, just that extra thousand. Now we're gonna bounce over to DraftKings and. Um, Another team I like today, and you know, they're a team that you're gonna like most of the time. It's the Houston Astros. I almost just typed in Houston Astros to find a player. Marlon Gonzalez is a good access to the, to the Houston Astros. Kind of the same thing you're doing with the Cubs and Albert Amora. Um, you get a 418 Wilbur and 230 ISO versus left-handed pitchers last year. Um, again, this is a, this is a lineup I like top to bottom against Doug Fister, but especially those lefties. Um, Guys like Marwin and my next guy I'm going to recommend are going to help you get some some good pitching options. Um, if you want to go with two guys like Robbie Ryder, Kyle Hendricks, or um, 
something like that instead of instead of going down and getting him a little more risky in your lineup with Chassin. Um, but uh, Fisher gave up a 365 to ISO to lefties last year. Obviously, Marwin batting on that left side, and um, you know he he. I'm not necessarily going to avoid right-handed batters for Houston, but I do think that that lefties have a little bit more power opportunity in this in this game. Second outfielder, um, or sorry, not second outfielder, second play outfielder Nick Williams. Um, he's going to be batting third for the Phillies. I actually kind of like this game. I think this is an underrated stack game. Um, Williams batting 354 Wobo, 224 ISO. Reverse right-handed pitching. Uh, Wotinowicz has pretty rough splits against lefties, giving up 375 Wobo last year and a 534 XFIP. Well over his ERA. Um, I think this is a guy that's going to get you again. Solid pitching. Both these guys under 4K, and really I, I, I like their chances uh, especially Nick Williams batting from that three hole. I think that's really, really nice. Um, really, uh, Marlon Gonzalez is a little bit of a team play. I think that, that pretty much anyone on the Astros team makes sense, especially against Doug Fister. Um, and if you're doing that, I'm going to go with, a, again, a, a stud. Um, obviously, I like Aaron Judge. Uh, he's here 5,100, so n- nothing like a crazy price tag. Um, definitely afford- Definitely easy to get to, but if we're going with another guy, you went another lock on the slate, and honestly, you can probably get him on, on FanDuel. His price isn't too bad. Um, he struggled yesterday, and this is a guy that goes up and down. It's Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, constantly, you know, hard to rely on Paul Goldschmidt a little bit, I feel like. A uh, little bit of a boomer bust play. But uh, in, uh, he doesn't have great splits against Tyler Anderson in his, in his 8 at-bats. We're not really going to take that into account too much. I mean, to take bat- batter versus pitcher into account, it's got to be a lot more than his 8 at-bats. But... Um, he had a crazy, crazy woe, but 4, 430 and 287 ISO against the handed pitcher last year. Um, and he's going to be at home in this chase field at Hitters Park. Uh, oh, not to, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I wanted to mention was Hand- Anderson's uh, 21% home run per fly ball rate and 33% hard hit last season. So I think he, he's going to – if they put the ball in the air, it's a good, it's a good chance to get out of the park, especially in this, in this uh, chase field setting. So I really like Paul Goldschmidt. I think this is another game. Um, uh, Why I'm not recommending Rob Uray, the more I looked at him, I, I really just just think this game is going to be high scoring. Um, Rob Uray has been hit by Colorado in the past, and um, I, I just think both these pitchers are gonna are gonna get shelled a little bit. So, um, yeah, th- those are our plays today. I guess I'll, I'll, real quick, I'll run over I'll run over the pitchers one more time. I like Kyle Hendricks again for that for that. Um, He's got a nice price tag on both sides, uh, not too not too high for me, and uh, you know he's uh, on this side. He's below these three guys, and I, I think that he's good. he's probably gonna be a little bit of chalk with that Cubs uh, Cubs heavily favored against against that Marlins team. But uh, and then Chasin, you know, San Diego has they did add Hosmer and they've got that lefty bat, but really I'm only concerned with lefties against Chasin. He has really good splits against righties. Um, and, I mean, Hosmer is just someone I'm not concerned with until he proves to me that he's better than he was last year. I'm really not going to be concerned against him um, and Chassin, and, and maybe he'll prove me wrong today. Um, but, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm going today. That's kind of the setup on FanDuel and DraftKings. Remember, uh, if you follow us on Locks DFS, you can have a chance to win $50. Also, uh, lineups will be there, and also uh, check... Check out our uh, pre- premium Slack and, and our cheat sheets and stuff like that that we've got on the site for members. All right, I will link that all below. And uh, thank you guys for watching.